Hello, everybody. This is Kate Strashne at Gartner's Data and Analytics Summit in Orlando. I stopped by the Click booth here, and I'm with Brandon and Drew. They're known as Brew. I think that's a good place for us to start. What, what's up with that nickname? Uh, well, we've worked many years together, almost decades, and uh, it's just merged together. You know, as people say, hey, what's going on with the Data Foundation and the analytics? Talk to Brendan, talk to Drew, and then they conf get confused and they just say, well, we'll talk to Brew. <laughs> talk to Brew. Well, I have this really great opportunity to talk to Brew here today. And a good place for us to start is Click's been a leader on the Gartner's Magic Quadrant for like ever, right? So I wanted to start by asking, why do you think that is? Well, it's not just one Magic Quadrant. It's a couple. A couple. So data integration, Magic Quadrant, yep. nine years. Okay. Analytics, a whopping 13 years. Okay, so you got me there uh, on that. And then we are in the data quality magic quadrant as well. Stay tuned. More okay. announcements coming about that uh, when Gartner releases them, okay. uh, but can't say anything yet. Okay, well, maybe by the time this airs, we'll be able to talk about it and I'll post about it. So that's that's great to hear. Congratulations in advance for whatever that is. Um, one thing that everyone's talking about at Gartner is agents. We really can't escape that conversation. So I wanted to know, what is Click's role when it comes to agentic AI? All right, well, I'm going to hand this one to you. Well, yeah, where, where we fit in an agentic, agentic AI is you actually start with the data foundation, right? So most important thing that anybody really needs is having good data before yep. they apply anything on top of it, right? We then can apply the analytics and the models machine learning models, as well as other types of AI models on top of them. And then we can actually automate those decisions. So I was just talking to someone recently, they basically described it as three APIs and a trench coat. Okay. Was the best, was the best way to describe it. And we're able to bring all of those together and give our customers the ability to take advantage of it. Okay, yeah, thank you for that. That's very helpful. And how does Click Answers play in this space? Uh, Click Answers, so Click Answers is a uh, solution that we put in place uh, about a year ago now where it, it analyzes your unstructured data. Mm -hmm. uh, where we're headed with Click Answers is it's going to actually be the main entry point for customers to come in and start asking questions of structured and unstructured data so that they can then go and take action on that. So if you think about the three APIs in trench coat, yeah. structured, unstructured, and action, yeah. that's what you're actually going to need to be able to take uh, to have an agent. Okay, and is it something that's sort of easy for our customers to do today, or is it, are we waiting on more? It's absolutely easy for them to do today. So click answers, I'll give you the best example. We decided to put um, answers on top of all of our marketing literature okay. to okay. ask questions. It was about 25,000 documents. Mm -hmm. We built that knowledge base in about 30 minutes. How long would it take you to teach someone, a person, let's say that one right there. How this long, one right yeah, there? Yeah, that one right him? there. How long would it take you to teach him all of the information that your agentic AI can, you know, help with? Well, him personally, it's years, right? But for the average person, on the other hand, it's, it's probably a couple, it's probably a couple hours to get up and running and, and feel comfortable with it. But it all gets back down to what Drew has to offer is if you don't have the right data to start, yeah. it becomes a little bit challenging. So we really get people to focus on that first. Okay, so Drew, quick question for you. How do we actually make sure that customers have the right data? Because most of them do not, right? Well, they have plenty of data. Well, That's they have, actually but is it the, the right profile? format, is the right structure. So, I, you, Kate, you bring up a really good point. And talking, uh, we just did a session. We had about 25 customers in a round table where we we're talking about the data foundation, the quality. How do you actually get it to feed into the agent? Yeah. Right. So, uh, and the agent used to be a person. Now it's software and you got unstructured data, structured data. So, uh, a couple of things about that. One, you have to look at what's generating that data and how do you fill it into the pipeline? So sometimes it could be from a mainframe and you want to just move the file or the elements that just changed over to where it needs to go, or it could be events. It could be coming off of cell phones. It could be coming off of your manufacturing floors and you're building these pipes. And as you do it, you look at the data quality to go, is it complete? Does it have the right information? Oh, that has to stay in Germany because of the laws that are in Germany. So keep that there. So yeah. you have to build all those components. And this was a big topic on this roundtable. Okay, amazing. Thank you for sharing that. So first, big congratulations on the Upsolver acquisition. Thank you. Ooh, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, there we go. 
Um, what can your customers expect as a result of this acquisition? Okay, so if you're at the Gartner Show and you're running around with a bingo card asking for and looking for keywords like agentic AI, RAG, another key one is iceberg in a lake house. And it's the open data format for how you store and work with data in a lake house environment. And Upsolver gives us two things. One is about managing that iceberg layer of data and to be able to work with it. The second thing is moving data at a high velocity, high volume. So I'll give you an example. When our one of our customers uses and sends trading data from their mainframe into S3 uh, in uh, Redshift, that's about 17,000 trades a second. Upsolver brings and does 5 million oh, wow. a second. So if you have a game on your phone that you're registering and you're buying kind of, I need more tokens, you're actually sending data through the Upsolver platform oh, wow. into the data scientist platform to be able to sell you more tokens. Okay. That's to give you what Upsolver does with Iceberg. Okay. And are these benefits being realized today by your customers? So they have existing customers who are doing exactly that. We started working together over a year ago. We got to meet the engineering teams. We have some joint customers that are working on it. But right now we are rapidly integrating the product together. So it's going to show up at our Click Connect, which you'll be at. I'll and be there. Yes, yeah, very good. Back in Orlando, you know, yes. for that. But you're going to see it uh, for early access and it will be available this summer. Okay, great. I'm looking forward to that. So before we wrap, um, your favorite part about Gartner Conference? You Besides, can... you know, meeting and Besides being on your show? Today, yes. Okay. Uh, so it's talking to all the customers that all the different themes, the roundtable today just reinforced uh, A, what they're trying to do. B, our products, our solutions, how we can help them deliver and create value. So okay. that's that's what I really like. It's the customer that's your integration. Favorite part. How about that's you? That's mine. Um, the evening event at Disney. No, I'm, I'm, I'm with Drew. It is, it is all about talking to the customers, which was really interesting in our last session was I asked how many click customers were actually in the room. There are only two. Really? So that means there are a lot of people out there. Were there are, more than two people in the room? <laughs> you yeah. dropped the mic sorry, on that I'm one. That's sorry. funny. Um, no, there are three. No, there are, there are a good 25 people. But what was really interesting is that everybody's dealing with the same problems, yeah. right? They're all trying to figure out this agentic approach. So having conversations with customers, knowing that no vendors really solved this yet. We're down the path where we feel like we're headed down the right path, pretty confident. And we know we're going to get more information from the customers while we're here to make sure we can help them out. Great. Yeah, I think this is a great place for you to actually interact with customers and future customers. Absolutely. So, very cool. All right, as we wrap, can you tell the audience where they can go to learn more about Click and about your conference in May? All right, right here, click.com. So I get the, you get there, you know, on that. Come to it. You know, you can see it behind us. Uh, yeah, come to our website, click through the links that you see on the feeds, and you'll be able to get more information. Great. And make sure you're following Click on all social media platforms. Um, Brew, I guess. Thank you so much for your time today. <laughs> uh, it's thank been you, a pleasure. Kate. Thanks, Kate. Thank you. Later.